Debating if I want to shut this off and restart this. I don't know where this came from. Sophie's sitting here looking at me. I was just going to go, yo, welcome welcome to boozing with the big guy. And I'm like, yo. Well, we're going to go ahead and leave that. Welcome to another edition of boozing with the big guy. I am the big guy, Ryback. And tonight we're going to celebrate happy, positive um, comments, messages from you guys. And uh, I apologize, my hands are really dry right now. The weather in Vegas has gotten cold and I've been um, a lot of Vaseline, not for that reason, perverts, um, but Vaseline and vitamin E and coconut oil. And it's not, like, it just, I don't know, they just randomly, I don't know if you guys have ever had that, they just randomly, the first cold day here, got really dry. And uh, it's a pain in the ass to keep putting stuff. I actually ran out of coconut oil, and I had coconut oil spray. They use it, I'm literally putting the coconut oil spray on my hands like an asshole. I should have put a little on before this video, but um, here we are. Hope everyone's having a great week, great weekend here. End of a long day. Got another Feed Me More Fitness Rebuilding Ryback uh, video done earlier. Monster leg workout. And, uh, and some conditioning where my, my videographer, Casey, I told him to go. I go, give me a challenge for the conditioning drill uh, just to blow myself up at the end. I, I don't know how many sets of legs. We, I can look back and I would say we did probably brought 30 sets of legs today, but a lot of functional movements. So it was a good 30 sets. And I didn't go as heavy this week as I like did last week and stuff, but did some new stuff at this, this gym, Filthy Power Gym here in Vegas. And uh, they had the sled and we just had 90 pounds on it. And those one of those big sleds and they had the long strip and uh, down the strip and back would be one set. And I said to, to Casey, the videographer, who uh, I, I really enjoy, who's really doing a fine job on those Feed Me More fitness uh, videos, which I don't know why the second one hasn't done nearly as well as the first with uh, the smoking Hot Brazilian Karen on it. thought for sure that would have been a, a, an easy a layup, but Phoenix is going to be working out with me hopefully next week and then do some more collaborations. It's pretty much going to pepper me in with hot chicks and then other people because I know people just don't want to watch me work out. So at least get some really pretty women on there. Everybody wins. And then the women win with me. <laughs> Anyways. Just kidding. You look like a caveman. You look like a Neanderthal. Women don't like you. Big guy does all right, guys. <laughs> ah, life is good. But uh, anyways, guys. We're going to do some positive comments here. Because I... You know, the I think some people don't understand that I, so none of the comments, guys, even good or bad, it's always nice to get nice comments, though. I don't put too much value in it. Like, I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. Very confident. I don't get too caught up in it either way. I just wish people didn't. I, I, I expect more of human beings. I wish people wouldn't try to spread hate. I think if you are going to spread stuff, you try to spread love and try to uplift people, try to make people feel better. And if you don't like something, you just don't comment on it. I'm of that kind of mindset. Not everyone shares that mindset. A lot of people don't share that mindset. But I think if you look at um, a lot of successful people or people that have done a lot of stuff in their lives, they share a similar mindset to that. So, But anyways, I got a really nice long one. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> uh by Rhoda Kozak, and uh, I don't want to, it's, it's very long, um, but I'm trying to, let's see, I don't want to miss out on something here that was, let's 
essentially, and, and Rhoda, thank you very much for this very, very beautiful message. Um, it, it's just, it's a very nice message. And, uh, and she just says, Ryback, I can't thank you enough. You saved my life. And um, it's really cool what we have the ability to do on uh, with social media and, and YouTube and letting people in. I think and we all have that ability. I think it's not getting caught up in, you know, I think sometimes people think like, well, what, what difference can I make? You can make a difference in one person's life. That's, that's a pretty powerful thing when you break it down. Imagine changing one person's life. Just think about it. Imagine if you were that person struggling and somebody was somehow able to connect and get through to you and it's in how grateful you would be. But we all have that power inside of us. So, because we're all just trying to figure this shit out together. And some of us, and, and just, we all are on different journeys and whatnot, so. Rhoda, Kozak, thank you very much for the very nice message. And I hope you continue to improve and get better. Uh, go one day at a time. And uh, it's, it's uh, this kind of stuff makes me really happy. We got a message from Frank Young. Uh, you are the best wrestler that I've seen in WWE in a long time. You are a cool YouTuber. Keep up the good work with your supplements and whatever you do. Feed me more. Thank you very much, Frank. Very, very kind of you. Very nice words. I'm just trying to be my best, guys. And uh, I get stressed out on sometimes. And I sometimes I tell people that uh, being a WWE pro wrestler is actually really easy. The, and again, it was, and I say that in the context of, of everything and going on now, that it's easy to be, you get a schedule, you know what you're going to do, you become a machine, you live on the road, you're home a day, maybe two days a week, day and a half a week, rarely two and a half on that, but it's go, 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 get caught up. You're in rental cars, airplanes, hotels, performing, gyms, just, it's just on repeat. And you're hurt all the time, and you just beat up injuries from wrestling five nights a week and uh, at a very high level. And, uh, but you like, you get into like routines with that. And uh, now, in having Feed Me More Nutrition and, and the conversation with the Big Guy Ryback podcast and my investments and having a rental property and doing all the manual labor on all this and getting up 5, 5 30 a.m. every morning and doing the physical aspect of things and emails and have trying to always dealing with people. You're trying to get people for brand ambassadors and sending people supplements. And then they're, they don't post for the month. And, and then you're just like, you so like, okay, that person's not a good fit. That was a learning lesson. That person's not for me, but this person is, and then I need to do this. And it's constantly one thing to the next and dealing with the team of people that you have around you when you have your own business. And, uh, there's times when I get very stressed out because I, I truly am so motivated with all of this and, uh, in two and a half years to, to be in a very profitable position, I'm, I'm beyond grateful, but it's, uh, it means the world to me, to you guys to be able to do this and feel good again and be healthy and kind of have more interaction with you guys. And because I've been doing this for the last three years, just more on the podcast, which I highly recommend everyone please tune into. And subscribe on Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud. And uh, because that is something I, I am truly passionate about. And uh, it, it's really cool to see how this has all worked out with that and how everything is tied together with YouTube. So I'm truly enjoying it. George Parrish uh, says, started watching these as a fan from wrestling. But now it, it's to give me a motivational mental kick up the arse. <laughs> A little Seamus fella. A little Seamus in ya. I'm 10% Irish myself. If everyone in the world had your sort of mindset, the world would be a much better, happier place, to be honest. Thank you very much, George. I'm not perfect by any means. I've got a temper on me, and uh, which has done me a lot of good, though. And uh, I don't put up with bullshit. I just believe in being a good human being. I get really upset when I see people not be a good human being. So maybe that's just something that, you know, for me, I, and I've heard people like, I'm not like a Tony Robbins. I'm not like, I'm not, 
I, I, I'm more of a, I, I'm many different people, but I'm myself. I'm, um, uh, I'm the kind of person that I'm trying to, to sum me up for you guys to understand me. That if I saw, uh, a man trying to rob a woman, let's say I'm coming out of the gym and, uh, or somebody's, uh, treating treating a woman very badly or trying to trying to take her purse. I'm not the kind of guy to go, you stop that right now, buddy. I'm just going to beat the shit out of him. Like bad. Because he doesn't fit in to what I believe is being a good person. Now, you can fault that and say that that's, that's a horrible thing, but that's just how I am. And, and I believe in doing good and helping people and, you know, but I also just don't put up with bullshit. There's a very physical part of me that I just can't stand stuff like where people are okay being pieces of shit. And, and maybe that's something I try to work on and try to improve on that, but it's like instilled inside of me. Ryback smash. And um, so, but I, I, I try to recognize that and balance it all. And, um, you know, going back to what George, you know, said, I just think if we all just swept our front porch, the world would be a, a better place. So. I don't have any arms. How am I supposed to sweep my porch? Someone's always going to find something to fucking find a hole in what you say. Fuck. I should have said that. I'm trying not to say the F words. And, and I like when the people get mad at you. No cuss. We like it. Jason Kaplan says... This is why I love watching the videos. I used to assume you were the type to only eat a certain type of food. However, after seeing the videos, I really enjoy the way you are down to earth and you come across as approachable and friendly. I appreciate you making me feel comfortable with my own fitness goals. Keep it up. You're a great person. Thank you very much, Jason. It's, uh, the food I'm really, really trying. Like it's, it's a, it's a fine balancing act of trying to keep uh, putting these videos out, uh, in different things and doing, like, I got a little routine, uh, very routine based in my life, if you haven't noticed. And, uh, and I'm trying to constantly mix it up, but where I'll do like, Oh, I'm doing a whining with the Ryback episode. I'm not doing a boozing with the big guy episode that same week. I do one little drinking thing a week. And like tonight it's going to be four Coors Lights. One, because that's only the amount of Coors Lights I had left from the three weeks of doing this. And, uh, what's it good? Like, and usually like I'll do what I'm trying to do, like with the big guy versus food is do one healthy meal a week and one cheat meal on Sunday a week. <laughs> Excuse me. Are we allowed to do that on you? Oh yeah. It's my own show. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> okay. Um, there's nobody like we got to re redo right back burped. The, uh, try to do one hot challenge a week or every other week on that. We got Johnny Scoville coming. He's coming to do the podcast, him and his son, Junior. And, uh, we're going to do some fresh peppers towards the end of the podcast and then take that and put that out as a video. And they're going to be posting it as well. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, but I try to have balance. Do one feed me more fitness video a week and uh, it's a lot, but. It's just very routine based and whatnot, but I appreciate you guys, all the love and support. And I try my best. I'm very, and sometimes with people, I'm very, I like to keep to myself a lot. Like when I'm, when I'm at the gym and I have my meditation on and I like to be to myself cause I'm thinking and, and people sometimes, and I try my best not to be, um, mean, but I always stay true to myself though. Like, so if I'm listening to meditation, and this is just something that popped in my head when I saw that. And somebody comes up and wants a picture or to talk, I'll, I'll usually say, not right now, no thank you. And it's not because I'm trying to be an asshole. It's because I'm staying true to myself because I'm listening to my meditation and I don't want to disrupt it because I love myself and I stay true to myself. And I learned that a long time ago and whatnot. So, and, and when I can do it, I do do it and whatnot. But, and, I, and I try to be understanding with people as much as I can, but I also have never asked for a picture. So I don't, it's just something I don't ever, like in my life, like I'm not of that mindset. I just don't, I've never, 
I've never, you know, it's not been that way. So, but I under, I try to understand that that not everyone's like me, obviously, and has that mindset. So, but I try my best. Moving on, we have Mandy Waters. You're one of a you're you're one of a kind and funny as hell. I'm so glad I found you on YouTube. This might sound weird, but you bring my spirits up because I lost my mom, my son, and my stepdad on June 18th of this year. So thank you for that. I'm very, very sorry, Mandy, to hear that. I can't even um, imagine how uh, difficult that 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 could be. I think, and I, I, I oftentimes will sit and you know, we, we as humans would think. You know, it's comforting when we know we have the people that we grew up with and love around us. And um, even like, I try my best to, to, to talk to my parents um, as much as I can. Because sometimes, and in, not necessarily close with them, but it's comforting knowing they're there. And I think we all go through that and we all have that. And then, and I think about that sometimes, like, what if I didn't have any of my family? How would I feel being in this world? Because there's something, it's definitely, there's a comfort feeling to that. Even if you're close with them or not, just knowing that they're okay, they're there. Um, so I, I truly sympathize with you, Mandy. I'm very happy that um, I'm able to help in any way possible and uh, providing entertainment or comfort however I can. I, I can't. I, I can't imagine what you've gone through and, and what you are going through. And, and like I've talked about, there's nothing, time, everything, that feeling of missing and that love is never going to go away. It's just, I think, you know, uh, and this is coming from someone that has not experienced that. So I can't, I can't truly be in your shoes. Uh, just try to, and you never replace love. Um, but from different books that I've read and in this book, the vortex I'm reading and it kind of has a stuff on like, um, when there's negative things or bad things, it's finding something else to over, to replace that feeling that's, that's stronger than that feeling like, or so in this case, you know, finding something new to love, if that makes sense. And, um, and it will help put you in that good feeling mode. Um, and I think that will, that could help. And whether that, that could be a dog, I, and my dogs are very, that for me in a lot of ways, Sophie and little guy. And if you follow me and know me, you know how much I love my dogs. So it's, I'm sorry, Mandy, to hear that. And I truly, truly hope that, that uh, you continue to, to improve and stay in good spirits. And, and thank you for watching very much. The Dark Artist writes, Man, Ryback, I loved you in WWE, but man, now you are my top uh, YouTuber, man. Hashtag feed me more. Psycho said fist bump, my man. Dark Artist, thank you very much. Matt Johnson writes, I love Ryback's positivity. I am like a lot of the people that watch his videos, encourage my three teenage kids to watch his videos. His positivity is beyond what I could express to them. If people can't handle real life, they knew not to watch. Thank you, Ryback, for all that you do. More people should try to be like you, real. Thank you very much, Matt. And uh, it's one of those things, I think sometimes as adults, it kind of just always... You know, and I don't have kids, and I'm not, I've been around a lot of kids, and then with with wrestling and and whatnot with WWE, and they're not dumb. And oftentimes, it, like, it just you can't tell people how to raise their kids or what to do and whatnot. But from my experience, everything that we all know was put in our little baby brains from our parents. And that's not a good thing because a lot of what was put in their brains were from their parents and from the media and from the news. And it's this vicious cycle and it's nobody's trying to do any harm. They're just, everyone's trying to do their best. And for me, it was when I became fell down that black hole of knowledge of listening to multiple books every week and trying to process as much information to, uh, 
have the thoughts that I have now and an understanding on life and whatnot. And I, I sometimes think that we try to protect kids uh, and, and delay the inevitable of them understanding what the real world is. And we think we're doing them uh, a service by doing that and in protecting them and, and whatnot. But I think we need to smarten them up sooner. And I think sometimes people think like cussing and things. What kid who has not listened to cussing has then gotten, gotten older and into adulthood, adulthood and then like not then experienced being around cussing? Is that like, has there been a child in the history of humankind that just like that never heard a cuss word and then just all of a sudden, all throughout his life till the day he died, he lived to 104 years old. Little Jacob never heard a cuss word his whole life. It's not going to happen. So why would you delay the inevitable? Why would you want someone to be fake? And that now again, and then there's, it's not going overboard and cussing just to cuss and whatnot. And I think it's knowing your audience and knowing your environment. And sometimes, and everyone has different opinions on all that, but I sometimes think we just, we, we tell stories to kids and we try to, and we should teach kids about the law of attraction, about how powerful our brains are and how much control we actually have to reactions and our reactions to different things in a positive mindset, a positive mental attitude, giving kids knowledge through different books of different successful people and, uh, and philosophers and people, uh, people like Napoleon Hill and, and whatnot. And a lot of today's just people that are, that are doing well and have very good mindsets, great human beings that are quality human beings and, letting them understand what life really is. So I thank you. And, and it's, I always try to just, just speak my truth and no bullshit. And, you know, if someone doesn't want their parents, don't want them watching me because I have some cuss words here and there. I, I can, I respect that. And that's fine. I, I'll never tell someone how to raise their kids and whatnot. So, but I also don't expect them to tell me to try to alter my behavior to fit their model of what they want. Because I'm me and I stay true to myself no matter what. So. Okay, we have Valkus says, Thanks, Ryback, for all you do. Your videos are a dinner time routine for myself and my daughter. My oldest always yells, Feed me more, it's dinner time. And my two youngest giggle whenever you act out what you think the fans will say with a hate. We love you and we always will support you and your channel. Thank you very much. And that seems to be a popular thing when I do the little, uh, the random outburst. So, and, uh, those are, those just pop in my head randomly. Something will go through my head of when I'm talking, I'll think of, or see if something that I, I heard weeks ago or days ago and just blurt it out because it's funny. And, uh, that is how I picture them when they're typing angrily, how they say it. So I'm glad you guys get enjoyment out of that. Dylan Estes says, uh, Ryback, you seem like a, such a genuine guy. Ryback, I'm sorry, not doing you any favors reading that. Ryback, you seem like such a genuine guy. Haven't watched wrestling since I was a young tyke, but I love your attitude, man. Thank you very much, Dylan. And just trying, man. We all, we live in a world, they don't want us to be positive. And that's why I block out a lot of stuff. And, and I just want others. And I know why I could see and I try to have sympathy and, and feel the pain that other people are feeling, you know, and, and hopefully it's, we gotta, we gotta power of the people, man. We have to, the way everything is going and the way the, the world is going go off on a tangent on all that, but it's got to focus on the good because there's, there is a lot more good than bad, but if we dwell on the bad and, and it's, it's not going to make things any better. I mean, fuck, we've been killing each other from the beginning of time. It's like, it's no, that never works. And we're to a point where we don't have to do that anymore, but it just ultimately can come down to that again. And it's just like, uh, how many tries are we going to take at this to get this right, you know? Uh, Marlon9191 says, Man, I love the fact that you never gave up on yourself. People could learn from you. Keep doing what you do, right back. And like I always say, can't wait to see you on AEW.
And like I always say, can't wait to see you on AEW. Oh, I read that twice. Stupid! And we need to see Sophie and Little Guy. Have you ever checked to see if they have stem cell treatments for dogs? Uh, yes, I have. And uh, they do do it in certain joints. They don't do it in the back. And I, I called around to multiple places around the country. They will eventually do it. Sophie only has one disc left that's susceptible to going. She's doing, she's doing amazing, though. And uh, she thinks she's all better. So, But it's, it's a lot of work. I love them more than anything. And I'll have to figure all that out. And along with Feed Me More Nutrition um, to eventually go back to wrestling, hopefully next year, with uh, and giving myself time to get myself in peak condition and shape. <clears throat> I will uh, probably, and this is the, the realistic uh, thing of the, the facts of the situation are, uh, I'll probably have to turn Feed Me More Nutrition over to a team, uh, and I will just solely be the, the CEO and the boss, uh, as, whereas right now I'm doing everything and it will it will make life drastically easier for me on that end it's the as this continues to grow and it's growing rapidly it's the days are long and um it's stressful but the realistic game plan is to get healthy and strong enough to be able to return to wrestling under my conditions and uh and and fulfill my destiny uh, and and do what i know that only i can do and uh, it's probably going to be having a, someone full-time take care of Sophie and little guy. Um, and that could hopefully, with the mother, and be able to help her. And uh, where she doesn't have to work as much and can, can help take care of the dogs. And then, um, and again, have the, the team take over the supplements and uh, the inventory and everything in the website. Uh, but I'm very proud that I've been able to do this from scratch and build it to what it is. And uh, I will never give up on myself. And, and I know I know the story's not over. I know there's, it's, it's pretty cool. And I know, um, I, and this is just me speaking and being honest, uh, I fully intend uh, to be working with people like Grant Cardone and Gary Vaynerchuk and uh, Dean Graziosi and Tony Robbins. I truly believe I will be sharing a stage with all those men sooner rather than later. And... Uh, it's going to be really cool. And there's just, I just know it. So documented here, go back. This will be my Gary V video where I post it seven years later. I fucking told you so. <laughs> so I really, cause I, I really think those guys and it's cool when I get messages like Dean messaged me the other day, Graziosi and man and Gary's messaged me and, and where they say, good shit. Keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, I'm like, I'm just being me. That's how I know to keep being me. And, uh, and these guys, because people, nothing happens overnight and whatnot. And I walked away from a lot, but I'm very confident that when I'm healthy, I could walk right back into that shit whenever I want also. And I think we all could agree on that. You can't go back to wrestling! Uh, all right. This is from, uh, I don't know who this is from. Last message, though, guys. We don't want to... we got to stop this. These long-ass shows. Watching you eat that KFC donut chicken, what the fuck it was at 6.30 a.m. on a Sunday was the funniest thing I've seen all week. I don't have a name here for that. But, uh... Oh, that might have been from Superman 23 also. Quite... No, it wasn't. I apologize. Can't give credit to Superman 23 for that one. Thank you very much. It was a good time, and I just try to have a good time on all these guys. But with that, guys, I always like to end these on a little something-something. I think, too, with our cell phones and all the, the BS around us, and I talk about getting stressed out sometimes because people just message me nonstop. And then there's all these social media platforms. Like, we're all too accessible. And I think it's, and it's, we all have our phones on us and I turn all my notifications off. I keep my phone on silent. I can't, when those alerts, I find when the alerts go off on my phone, even I like, oh, I like that sound. That alert makes me feel happy. I hear that alert 30 fucking times in one day. I can't stand it. I keep it on silent. So I think we sometimes, we got to use this technology and, and I keep it off, like I said, and, 
and like and then I got to shut the vibration off on it because when it shut it off, then it vibrates. I'm like that annoys me because it's it's just and I deal with so many people, and I don't think people sometimes that are around me don't even realize like you're not the only one messaging me. There's like 50 other people doing the same thing on like different things and at all different times. And so I think uh, for some of us, because I see other people going through it on social media, some other people I know, we all are going through the same stuff with all of this and uh, we're all way too accessible. So for me, something that helps is, helps is just keeping it off and on silent and vibrate off whenever I can, when I'm not expecting to hear something that way, that I, what I find happens is I don't go to my phone nearly as often because I'm not being alerted to go to my phone nearly as often. So, and, and with notifications and all that, turn that shit off if it's bothering you. If it doesn't bother you, keep doing your thing. But that was something for me that helped. And hopefully that can help a few of you out there. <sighs> like drinking water. Botch! You've just watched another episode of Boozin' with the Big Guy. See you around. Hey guys, it's the Big Guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all-natural my all-natural supplement line. Supplement. Supplement. Stupid! My all-natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out feedmemore.com.